hello friends i hope you like my videos and that are helpful for you so today in this video we will discuss about the difference between the 21 cfr part 11 and eu nxr 11 so friends my youtube channel name is pharma quality so please view like comment and subscribe my channel to get the knowledge about the pharma quality standard and practices so here we will discuss about the difference between 21 CFR part 11 and U and X11, right? So first one is the scope. So here you can see the 21 CFR part 11 is applicable to electronic record and electronic signature, which is used in FDA regulated industries. So 21 CFR part 11 specifically talks about the electronic record and electronic signature, whereas EU that is European NX11 is applicable to computerized system used in GMP regulated activities within the European region. So EU NX11 talks about the validation of computerized system, right? Next is regulatory authority. So regulatory authority for 21 CFR part 11 is US FDA that is United States of Food and Drug Administration. Whereas regulatory authority for EU and XL11 is European Medicine Agency and who are the member of it, right? Next is purpose. So the 21 CFR part 11 ensures the integrity, reliability and authenticity of electronic records. That means it talks more about the electronic data. Whereas EU and XR11 ensures computerized system are appropriately validated and maintained. That means it talks more about the overall computerized system validation activity. Next is validation requirements. So 21 CFR part 11 requires documented evidence for the system compliance and reliability. Whereas EU and XR11 require a validated computerized system for GMP compliance, right? Next is focus. So 21 CFR part 11 mainly emphasize electronic record and electronic signature. Whereas EU and XR11 broadly focus on the entire computerized system lifecycle approach, right? Now the next is risk management. So for 21 CFR part 11, risk is implied but not explicitly defined. That means the idea of the risk is understood but it's not clearly defined and it's depend on this situation and how it's applied, right? Whereas EU and XR11 explicit emphasize on risk management throughout the system life cycle. That means it clearly focus on managing the risk at every stage of the system life cycle. Next is audit trial. So 21 CFR part 11 requires secure time stamped audit trials for electronic records. Whereas EU and XR11 requires the audit trial for GMP critical computerized systems. That means both guidelines talks about the audit trial requirement for all regulated activities performed in the system, right? Next is system access. So in 21 CFR part 11, it mandates control access and user authentication whereas EU and XR11 requires system access to be controlled with roles and permission defined. That means both, uh, both the guidelines talks about the authorized access of the system with defined user privileges and there should not be any unauthorized access to the system, right? Next is periodic review. So in 21 CFR part 11, no explicit requirement for periodic review. That means no specific rule for regular reviews. Whereas EU NXR 11 mandates the periodic reviews of the computerized system, right? Next is vendor and supplier audits. So in 21 CFR part 11, it's not explicitly mentioned about the uh, this vendor and supplier audits requirement, but implied for ensuring compliance, right? That means it is not directly stated, but suggested for maintaining compliance, right? Whereas EU and XR11 requires assessment of suppliers and services, service provider for GMP relevance, right? So in the conclusion with respect to the difference 
we can say 21 CFR part 11 and EU and XR 11 both ensure compliance for the electronic system in regulated industries but differ in scope and focus. For example, 21 CFR part 11 is specific to FDA regulated industries focusing on electronic data and signature while EU and XR 11 applies to the GMP regulated system in the EU with emphasizing system life cycle validation. So the key difference include the explicit risk management and periodic review requirement in NXZ 11 as well as its broadest scope covering the entire system including vendor audits and training documentation right. So friends this is overall the difference between 21 CFR part 11 and EU NXZ 11. So friends, for detailed video on 21 CFR part 11 and EU and XL 11, you can refer my separate video, right? So thank you so much for watching the video.